What is going on everyone? In this video, we will introduce the concept of front running as it pertains to trading. Let's introduce this concept of front running. To do this, we will start by talking about what front running is and how it relates to the topics we have been covering recently, specifically how it relates to makers, takers, and order books. Once we have defined what front running is, we will talk about how front running is achieved and identify the market participants who are most capable of doing it. And we will conclude with a story about a rapacious front runner that made a million dollars front running. Let's start by defining the concept of front running. But before we do, I want to point you to a discussion that we had together in the depth chart video. The depth chart visualizes the order book. And in that video, we examine some important distinctions about makers and takers. The portion of that discussion that is important here is the part about when makers reveal their trading intentions versus when takers reveal their trading intentions. We saw that maker data is visible before trades occur, while taker data is only visible after trades occur. What we meant by this is that we can see the orders that makers submit to the marketplace. These are the orders on the order book. What we cannot see are the taker orders. Takers are buyers and sellers who are on the sidelines. Their buy and sell intentions are hidden from us until after their trades execute. We see the taker activity in the trade history after they have taken their positions. But what if we could see their orders before they were matched with maker orders on the order book? If we could do this, we would have the ability to run in front of them, buying or selling in front of their orders knowing that their orders would follow, pushing the price in our favor. This is generally what is meant by front running, running in front of taker orders. This could also be said as trading in front of taker orders. Let's define this concept formally. Front running is the act of placing one's own order in front of the orders of others. Now we know what front running is, but how can it be achieved? We have already said that the actions of takers are hidden. So how can it be possible to trade in front of orders that we don't know about? Let's just start with the simplest case. Suppose a taker informs us that they will make a sale or a purchase soon. In this case, we could just run in front by acting before they do. This case is mostly trivial unless the taker is a prominent individual like say Warren Buffett, CEOs, and those types. Without being specifically told by a taker, we must do the front running in another way. For this, we must be between the taker's order and its execution. This leads us naturally to middlemen. Middlemen like brokers, dealers, market makers, and exchanges are the typical suspects in front-running cases. These entities have access to what is called order flow for their customer base. And so they can see all of the orders of takers as they flow in. Getting in front of order flow comes in two varieties. Verbal instructions, like if you tell your broker to buy or sell some amount of an asset, and electronic order flow. Getting in front of electronic order flow isn't typically done by humans. You have to be extremely quick to do this. About 650 milliseconds. And at that 650 millisecond mark, it really represents the kind of the outer boundary of where humans can fundamentally participate. And that's not a lot of time, it's about this long. But that little window has profound consequences. If you want to know more about the speed required to pull this off, I'll leave a link in the description of the TEDx talk that just played on high frequency trading. I think it's pretty good and it's definitely relevant. So check that out if you want to. For the rest of this discussion, we're going to consider the slower side of things with a story. 
a story on front running. This is a story about Dan Berlin, a senior equity trader at an MLP asset management firm out of Dallas, Texas. According to Glassdoor.com, the national average salary for a senior equity trader is about 90,000 per year in the United States. Dan didn't like this very much, so he secretly devised a plan to execute hundreds of trades through his wife's accounts in a practice known as front running. Berlin illicitly profited by at least 520k by routinely purchasing securities in his wife's accounts earlier the same day that he was scheduled to place much larger orders for the same securities on behalf of firm clients. Berlin concealed his lucrative trading by failing to disclose his wife's accounts to the firm and avoiding pre-clearance of his trades in those accounts. Berlin also attempted to hide his wife's accounts from SEC examiners. And for roughly two years, Berlin and his wife had significant expenditures. From July 2012 through February 2013, approximately $1.85 million was transferred from his wife's E-Trade account to her bank account at Bank of America through large transfers, nearly 100 k each. Life was good. Until one day in May of 2013, the SEC charged a Dallas-based trader with front-running. According to the SEC's complaint, Berlin realized at least $1.7 million in profits in his wife's accounts from 2011 to 2012 as a result of his illegal front-running trades. More than 520 k of the $1.7 million represents the profits from approximately 132 occasions in which Berlin placed his initial trades in his wife's account ahead of client trades. One SEC director said, Berlin's misconduct is particularly egregious because the firm depended on him to manage market exposure and risk for its investments. Instead, he pitted his client's financial interest against his own. According to one site, Dan was sentenced to 30 months in federal prison and forced to pay back more than $3.5 million after pleading guilty to securities fraud stemming from an alleged three-year front-running scheme. The SEC has barred him from working in the financial industry. The end. So with that story in conclusion, it is a true story. I'm going to leave the links to the SEC complaints detailing more or less the story if you want to check that out for yourself. But what we can see from that story is that front running is an illegal activity in the stock market and it is up to regulators to stop these bad actors from engaging in front running. The most important takeaway from this video is that front running is not an ethical practice and it is even illegal in some markets. The concept of front running arises in most part from our reliance and trust in third parties like brokers and dealers. As traders, we expect that these trust agents will act in our best interest, but we rely on regulators to enforce these actions. I want to conclude this talk with a quote from an article on front running and other topics by Will Warren, a co-founder of the Zero X Project. In traditional markets, front running is not only considered unethical, it is illegal. As designers of trustless distributed systems, we do not get to indulge in assumptions about ethics or an underlying justice system. We must assume that we are operating in an adversarial environment where each market participant acts rationally in their own self-interest. Therefore, it is our job to place constraints in our system that make undesirable behaviors unprofitable or prevent them altogether. I hope you like this video and find this content useful. If you do, be sure to check out the other videos like this one on the Deep Lizard channel and subscribe to stay up to date.